Hello. We are Bank of the Phoenix. At Bank of the Phoenix, it is our mission to create a strong core commercial clientele. Our measure of success derives from a strong shareholder value, a creditworthy portfolio, and superior net interest margin. Our management believes in strong and steady growth. We know success starts from a steady operational base and continued controlled credit growth. It's the same methodology as building a house on concrete versus building it on sand. We are positioning our bank for continued long-term success. As a management team, it was important to us to be cognizant of our strengths as well as our weaknesses. Our strategy was to slowly balance our financial statement through organic core growth and asset allocation management. From quarter to quarter, management was successful in credit quality management as well as steady loan growth within our market share. Furthermore, management was highly successful in allocating our liabilities into core deposits and funding through core as much as possible. Hold on. However, management was also aware of the funding squeeze created by being in a Fed funds purchase position. Nevertheless, management felt slow core growth in a demand deposit market created an increasingly stable funding source, as well as the expense incurred from Fed funds purchased was cost effective relative to time deposits that were in a more volatile state. As the slide above shows, management has been successful in shrinking the Fed funds purchase position while maintaining the integrity of the net interest margin. This is our net interest margin to peer. From a return stance, the management of the Bank of Phoenix has increased the bank's ROA and ROE quarter over quarter. Management believes that while at some times competition has had a more robust return, the strategy of our management was stability and stable growth. We believe our shareholders would rather invest in a stable strategic growth than a reactive volatile growth market. With that being said, our strategy has grown the bank's stock price 60% in less than one fiscal year, making it the highest in the community. Management also believes in giving back to those who believe in our bank. Our bank was named after the Phoenix with the goal of rising from mediocrity to success in the industry. That is why we have raised our dividends 75%. Our shareholders believed in us when we needed them to invest. We want them to continue that trend. From a regulatory stance, management knew that it could not be positioned for long-term success without a stable regulatory analysis. In creation of our strategic plan, we allocated realistic CAMEL ratings that would assist leadership in focused strategic growth. Therefore, we have striven for the following CAMEL ratings. Capital adequacy added to. Asset quality at a two. Management quality a one. Sorry, that's two. Earnings is a one. <laughs> Liquidity three. Sensitivity to market risk two, giving us an overall rating of two. <laughs> Management feels that as the bank continues to grow, liquidity quality will migrate to a two. But given the Fed purchase position that the bank currently stands, we felt that three was reasonable within the market. In conclusion, the new Bank of the Phoenix is positioned for long-term success. With continued oversight of credit quality in our market, as well as low price cost of funds and a driven management team, Bank of the Phoenix is aligned to be a leader in the community bank market. Bank of the Phoenix, rise from the ashes. Thank you.